For the second example on cotangent, we're going to use our knowledge of the parent function of cotangent, in particular where the asymptotes occur, as well as the six key points that you see up above there in the first example, um, to transform and come up with a graph of y equals negative cotangent of theta plus one. So the first thing I notice is that there is no constant value of, in front of theta. So with the period being unchanged, we're going to write here that the period is going to stay equal to pi. That means that for my functions, I'm going to space it apart by pi over four units and count one pi over four, two pi over four is pi over two, three pi over two, and then one cycle would be completed by the time I get to four pi over four, which is pi. And um, I should always split my region so that there's four spaces within each cycle, whether it's sine, cosine, tangent, or cotangent. So now the next thing is to continue. So if that was four pi over four, this is five pi over four, six pi over four, which is three pi over two, and then seven pi over four, eight pi over four, which is two pi. So the vertical asymptotes will come next. We space them apart pi units. So one at zero, one at pi, and one at two pi. So these things, now you know cotangent of zero, cotangent of pi, of two pi, of negative pi, those are all undefined. And then from there, the three points we have are decreasing from left to right. So one at pi over four, one, pi over two, zero, 3 pi over 2, negative 1. Same thing in the next cycle. And so we take those three points and now do adjustments to those three points. So first of all, let's go ahead and take care of this negative. The negative right here is going to indicate from before a reflection across x-axis. So if we reflect across the x-axis, the point at pi over 4 is now at negative 1. This point remains unchanged. And then at 3 pi over 2, you have it moves up to 1. Same thing going in the into the next cycle. And then lastly, we have here this plus 1 is going to be a shift up 1. So I'm going to make that green. So shift all three six points, 3 in each cycle, up 1. So that we get this is our what our final graph looks like, where our function is increasing and shifted up one. Now, so the domain remains what it is. So if you guys wanna hit pause and try to see if you can do replicate the domain from example one. So the domain is x, where x is equal to, or x cannot be equal to all of the vertical asymptote values, which is pi, space pi, units apart. The k is again to indicate, well, what is the constant in front of pi? 1 pi, 2 pi, negative 1 pi, negative 2 pi. So where k is any integer. And then for my vertical asymptotes, which are vertical lines, I would say that the equations are x equal pi times k, where k is any integer. And lastly, range. Within the first cycle, we see that the range values go from negative infinity to positive infinity.